Apart from what you were fed by NASA, Boeing, and many other related agencies and companies, getting a deeper insight into the magnanimity of what's happening in and even above the air seems like a near impossible task. Today, we are bringing it to your visuals with the list of heavy machinery used in air operation and space exploration. The Antonov AN-225, often known as Maria, is a magnificent aircraft that's widely regarded as the biggest plane to ever grace the skies. Along with being the biggest plane to ever take on the skies, it also achieved the heaviest cargo lift ever when it carried a single piece of machinery, weighing 189,980 kilograms, 418,834 pounds, from Germany to Armenia. The Antonov An-225 Maria was first developed in the 1980s by the old Soviet Union as a means to carry spacecraft into orbit, similar to the United States shuttle carrier aircraft. Not only that, but the space machine also has the capability of carrying objects that are considered too heavy to lift by air, such as 130-ton generators, wind turbine blades, and diesel locomotives. Powered by six Progress D18T turbofan engines, the Antonov AN-225 Maria has a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. The design concept of the Antonov AN-225 Maria was quite strategic with the addition of fuselage barrel extension and cargo deck that were fitted to the fore and aft of the wings. Just as you know, the United States of America, being one of the most powerful nations in the world, wouldn't sit by and watch the Soviet Union take the lead in aircraft manufacturing. Their reply to the Soviet Union-manufactured Antonov AN-225 Maria is this McDonnell Douglas Tsatrash Boeing C-17 Globemaster III military aircraft that was developed by the United States Air Force around the 1980s and 1990s. The C-17 Globemaster III is powered with four Pratt & Whitney PW-2040 military designation F-117PW-100, each with 40,440 pounds thrust, and was designed to be able to back up and turn around in a very small runway. With a length of 174 feet, wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches, and most importantly, the usage of composite materials in aircraft manufacturing, the C-17 Globemaster III has been a strategic transport aircraft for the United States military that's capable of airlifting cargo close to the battle zone. The C-17 Globemaster has a maximum payload of 170,900 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 585,000 pounds, which translates to carrying one Abrams tank, four Bushmaster vehicles, and three Black Hawk helicopters. The Hercules Lockheed C-130 is another monster plane that graces the sky. This is another American four-engine turbojet military transport aircraft that uses less fuel and does unbelievable things in the air. Lockheed C-130 Hercules is an all-purpose aircraft that can be classified as the hybrid version of any air cargo machine with the dual purpose of carrying out airborne operations and tactical airlifting of all military hardware. Immediately after the Korean War, it became apparent that the once powerful World War II era piston engine transports like Fairchild C-119 flying boxcars, Douglas C-47 sky trains, and Curtis C-46 commandos were no longer adequate. So, in 1956, the U.S. government conceived the idea of manufacturing a more powerful and spacious Lockheed C-130 aircraft that was capable of carrying 92 passengers, 72 combat troops, or 64 paratroopers in a cargo compartment that was approximately 41 feet long, 9 feet high, and 10 feet wide. Despite its gigantic size, the Lockheed C-130 is designed in such a way that it can land easily in all terrains, weather conditions, and has a very small turning radius. 
It's filled with every ounce of curiosity and defies all logic to even think of an air tractor. But this is no joke. What you are witnessing now is an 8802 agricultural aircraft that's used in crop dusting vast farmland, pest control, and fertilization with high precision and less hassle. With a single turboprop engine, the Air Tractor AT802 has an hour loiter time at a 370 kilometer radius in the air. In addition to that, the air machine utilizes conventional landing gear, consisting of two main wheels and tails, and also Whipair 10,000 amphibious floats, so that it can land on a traditional runway or on water. Isn't that intriguing? The manufacturing process and design of the Air Tractor 8802 leave most people curious about how a single-seat aircraft of 35 feet 11 inches in length and 12 feet 9 inches in height can withstand a payload capacity of 9,000 pounds. Since it launched in the 1990s, the Air Tractor 8802 development has witnessed a series of innovations, utility, and commitment to meeting the diverse needs of the people. This mandate has brought about the different variations of AT802, such as AT802A, AT802F, AT802AF, and many other militarized versions. Most agricultural aircraft before 1949 were converted military aircraft. The thought of an agricultural aircraft was non-existent back then until 1949 when Fred Wyke of Texas A&M University designed the AG-1 aircraft that ended up becoming the standard that birthed the more improved and fuel-efficient PA-25 in 1959. The PA-25-235 is designed to evenly distribute dust and seeds over a large area of farmland with a crew capacity of 1, 24 feet, 7 inches in length, 7 feet 2 inches in height, a maximum takeoff weight of 2,900 pounds, 40 U.S. gallon fuel capacity, and 36 feet 2 inches wingspan, with a 235 horsepower Lycoming 0540B2, B5 flat 6 piston engine driving a two-blade fixed-pitch Macaulay propeller, the PA. 25235 air tractor can go up to a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour, a cruising speed of 170 kilometers per hour, and a typical spraying speed of 145 kilometers per hour. Up next in this series is another mind-blowing technology pushing the boundaries of space. These marvels show us just how limitless human ingenuity can be.